ألا من كنت مولاه فهذا علي مولاه اللهم والي من والاه وعاد من عاداه My name is Fatima Mihaljevic I am from Bosnia uh, and I am a proud lover of the Ahlul Bayt Arbin is something that you can't know what it is or what it feels like unless you're there unless you experience it it's something that is a higher force than just words retelling a story to someone else or saying you know you should come because it feels like so and so and it's it's an experience you will have it's something you have to feel it's something you personally have to experience and be there and be in the presence of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and just like when you're in a present in the presence of someone great you feel humble in front of them you feel like no words are enough and no pres your presence isn't enough to be in their presence that's exactly how it feels like as i've met people that aren't even muslim and that went there and that being in the presence of imam hussein they felt such beauty they've never felt in their whole lives such peace they've never felt in their whole lifetimes that the journey from najaf to karbala that that walk it's not just a simple walk it's when you look at everyone around you and it's you see people going towards the same goal you see people going towards that same spirituality and they all feel it they all feel that exact same thing they all feel that beauty they all feel that greatness of imam hussein not just imam hussein but hazrat abbas by all the men that fought in the way of Imam Hussein, all the great women that stood by his side. And that's, that's what it feels like. It feels like your breath is taken out of you and you have no words, you have, you have no soul left because you gave it all on that path from Najaf to Karbala. There, there is nothing more to say than just pure, beauty and pure nur in that way that's what it is to be in the presence of Imam Hussein because now when I imagine myself being personally there in front of him and him standing with me I know that's exactly what it will feel like there is no other other way to describe it just greatness and pure joy people see us crying for Imam Hussein people see us mourning him but it's not just mourning and sadness for him. It's mourning that we weren't there with him to, to fight for him. Mourning that we weren't there for Hazrat Zainab when she was fighting for Islam after him. We're mourning being in the position of not having our Imam directly with us so we can speak to him. We're mourning not being there at the time of the greatness being created. There's of course stories of the children of Karbala, there's stories of, of families being torn apart, but the saddest story that always touches my heart is how the night before the 10th of Muharram, Hazrat Abbas, Imam Hussein, and Hazrat Zainab came together and talked. And the image of that and the feeling of that in my mind brothers and a sister not even having to share words and knowing what's coming is the most heartbreaking thing because they're all members of the Ahlul Bayt they're members of that beauty and greatness and they know that what will happen later it, it is hard and it is brutal and it is painful but they will see nothing but beauty from it